Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Luke Ness Monster. Today I will be talking about five Black Series vehicles Hasbro needs to make. And uh, just as a disclaimer, this is uh, my personal opinion on vehicles I would like to see in the Black Series that also kind of works with the scale and the pricing of the Black Series. So obviously I'm not going to be like, we need a Star Destroyer, because that's just not going to work. It wouldn't fit the scale, and it'd literally be massive. So... Uh, unfortunately, um, it, the list is a little bit limited, but uh, I picked, I think, five very good vehicles that would work with the Black Series scale. So, on to number so five. So, coming in at the number five spot is the Separatist STAP, or the, basically it's just the Droid Speeder. And um, I picked this on the list only because it's a very small vehicle and uh, it would fit the scale very well. It'd be about the size of a figure. Um, the battle droid would just hold on to it, and then there'd be a little clear stand to hold it up because it wouldn't touch the ground. It's hovering. So um, there would be a little clear stand to hold it up. And then basically, um, it would just come with the droid, uh, just a standard uh, battle droid, his weapon, uh, the speeder, and then it would probably come in a 35 to $40 uh, price range. And um, I think this is really realistic. Um, I think we could see this in um, the next few years. Uh, and it would give us a really good chance to get some more Episode 1 figures and just another chance to get a Battle Droid if you don't have so one. So, coming yet. in at number 4 is Straight Out of the Mandalorian. And uh, honestly, this one isn't really a necessity for the Black Series, but I think this would just be a really, uh, a really cool thing we could get. And it is the Lava Canoe from uh, the last episode of The Mandalorian. Um, and, um, like, really the only figure it would come with would be the, uh, canoe droid, which is just the, uh, be the normal astromech, but with the long arms and legs. I think that would just be a really cool figure to get, and, um, it, it would also come with his, uh, canoe paddles, but, um, again, this is, this is just an interesting thing. I think you could set up some pretty cool scenes with it, and you would get the really cool, uh, astromech droid so um i think this would come in at probably again the um 35 to 40 dollar price range it doesn't have to be very big just enough to hold uh three or four people and then the astromech droid and um i don't think it's going to be very big it's just or complicated it's literally just going to be a boat so i don't see it uh really coming in over that price range so that is why I put it in the um, thirty to thirty, like thirty to forty dollar price range, and uh, it only does come with the one figure. So yeah, on to number number three is coming straight out of the Clone Wars, and it is an Umbara Starfighter. And you guys are probably wondering, wow, those things are pretty big. And yes, I know, but uh, this would probably go into the range of the Tie Fighter that we got a few years ago. I'll throw up a photo. And uh, if you guys didn't know, this thing was like two feet tall and about two feet wide. But um, I think it would be in about that scale. The Umbara Starfighter is actually bigger than that, than the TIE Fighter in universe. So you would have to scale it down a little bit. But uh, if you guys are upset about that, look at the TIE Fighter. I'll, again, I'll throw up the photo. This is the official photo from Hasbro. And to me, it just doesn't look like the wings. The wings got scaled down a little bit to fit the cockpit. And um, so if you think that Hasbro wouldn't scale it down, I think you're wrong, because they definitely would. And um, yeah, I think this would be really cool. You could get a uh, removable helmet for fives and Echo, or not Echo, I'm sorry, hard case. And um, I think this would be a good way to get both of the figures. And um, I think you could get some removable hands for the little bubbles as well to make it look like they're piloting it. Piloting it. Piloting it. And um, then I think... Um, yeah, I think, again, if you just scale it down, you add in these figures, I think it'd be really good. And um, I think the problem with the TIE Fighter is people didn't want to pay that 160 bucks for the TIE Fighter. And um, I don't blame them. You only got the one figure, and um, it wasn't a very wanted figure. But I say if you throw in fives and hard case, this thing is going to sell. No matter what price, I think you could put it in at the 160 all the way up to 200 and it's going to sell. So I think, again, you just scale it down, add in the two figures, their weapons and accessories, and I think you got a winner right so there. So basically ever since the uh, 40th anniversary uh, Snowspeeder came out, there have been uh, several uh, like sh spaceships in that range of size. So I came up with, um, for number two spot, is the A-Wing. It is in that smaller size and smaller scale, and I think it would, uh, like, look really good next to the snow speeder 
and um, it would come with just an A-wing pilot and a blaster, and then whatever um, like uh, A-wing would have, I guess. Um, it doesn't have to be very big. Again, just the same size as the Snowspeeder, and come in at that hundred and like ten, twenty dollar range. And I think it'd be a really cool um, way to get a A-wing pilot and just another ship in that scale. Because really, the Snowspeeder is the only uh, ship we have in that uh, medium scale. And I think it'd be cool to get that. And coming in at number one is another ship in that smaller scale. It is the Jedi Starfighter from Episode 3. So it is the uh, Phase 2 st like Starfighter. And um, again, this is like almost the exact same size as the Snowspeeder. So it would work out really, really well for scale. Really, the only reason I decided to put this in at number one is the custom ability. You could literally get like three different colors for it. Actually, just as many Jedi. You don't see like as many of the Jedi Starfighters you see in universe. You could make um, Starfighters for. And um, you know, I just think you definitely need to make the yellow one for Anakin. You need to make the um, uh, red one for Obi-Wan, then you also need to make the uh, green one for Obi-Wan, or Anakin or Obi-Wan, uh, I don't know, whichever one Anakin dr uh, flew to Mustafar, that's the one, uh, I, th I think it's green, you also need to make that green one, and um, I think, again, this would be really good, um, you could do several different colors, you just need a the Jedi pilot and an astromech, and I think, it, again, it would sell really well, a good chance to get a Jedi and a brand new astromech droid, and I think, again, it would just fit the scale really, really well. And then you could also please a bunch of the prequel fans that really don't see a whole lot of that kind of stuff in the Black series. So, thank you guys for watching. I know this is a little bit of a shorter video, but um, if you guys decided to stick around, hit that subscribe button. I, re I really appreciate it. And I'm doing a giveaway at uh, 500 subscribers. Um, I'm still a few hundred away, but um, every subscription counts and gets us a little bit closer to the giveaway. So, if you guys would, just please hit that subscribe button.